How's it going guys? Sharblogs here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the 1 times 1 times 1 times 1's teapot from the Roblox Ready Player 2 event. It also comes with some 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 pants and a shirt and you also get a badge from it as well and the game that you have to play to get this is Bad Business. So it's this game right here. You can do this on a VIP server. You can also do it on a public server but what you guys want to do is go ahead and just jump into the game. Alright guys, so once you're in the game, you want to look for the present icon, click on it, and the code you want to enter is UNICORN. Now once you enter in this code and basically just go ahead and click on redeem, you will actually get a set of VR goggles. So we're just going to close this off, we're just going to go on back, and what we're going to do is edit our character. So you want to find where it says outfit 1, click on your avatar, go to your face, click on it, and here you can equip face accessories. We're going to equip the goggles, go on back, and as you can see they're equipped, go on back again. Now the game that we want to play is Rocket Facility. If it's not on Rocket Facility, then it's the wrong map. This is the only map that it works on. So once you've got this game selected, click on Deploy. The game mode doesn't really matter so much. Um, I just did it on Kill Confirmed with my friends. And what you've got to do is run around the map and we're actually looking for these kind of like images that are stuck on the wall. I don't really know how to explain them. Basically, they're parts of a unicorn. You've just got to find these little diagrams of unicorns spread across the world. Now you do need four of them and you just look at them and then you scan them and then you get them on your account but you can get as many as you want. I think by the time I finished this I had eight on my account and once you scan all of these unicorn parts basically you have to get the right parts in order then you can actually enter them on a diagram on the wall. So as you can see I got five parts already they're not too hard to find they're all over the map. Here is where the diagram's located and pretty much you look at this diagram you click on the unicorn parts and you enter them in to the diagram. Now keep in mind my parts, I had quite a few of them but they were not in the right order. Some of them were flipped upside down, some of them were the wrong way around. It was pretty much a nightmare and I had to find so many extra parts to actually get them all correct when they were entered into the diagram. So it took me quite a long time to do this. I know I'm probably not the first to make a video on this but yeah I was just trying to find all these parts. I got eight in total. I finally went back to the diagram and I was able to enter in the unicorn. So I went the head, wings, then the lower part of the body, and then the part where the tail is, and then it said uploading, and then I thought my game froze. I was like, oh no, what's happened? My game is lagging. Well, it turns out it actually teleported me to a brand new game. And this game is kind of like Call of Duty Zombies in a way. Um, it kind of reminds me from the Ready Player 2 event on Phantom Forces. I think it's kind of inspired off that. But you just click on begin and you teleport into this kind of like Vietnam style place. I don't exactly know where this is located. But basically you get a machine gun, you get a pistol with a silencer and you have to shoot all of these zombies. And you basically go like round through round. It's like I said, it's kind of like Call of Duty Zombies, you got three lives, um, you just advance then press V when it shows you like on your keyboard, um, you get into a house. I just sped up the gameplay because this does take I think about 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, I don't quite know. But like I said, you've got to shoot all these zombies, be careful not to die, otherwise you're going to have to start the zombies bit again, I believe. Um, I didn't actually die, I managed to complete it first time. But like I said, run around the map, press V to advance, you know, get through all of the sections, make sure to be careful of the zombies that are running because they can deal quite a lot of damage if they attack your avatar. Anyway you get to the city again there's much more zombies um, like I said my gameplay sped up it was a bit laggy um, the city um, there were so many zombies so many buildings it did start to lag a little bit but it wasn't too much of an issue. Anyway, there was more parts of the city. Um, I just kind of like advanced through here. And basically, once you get to the end of the city, it starts to get very glitchy. There are glitches all over the screen, random cubes. I have to admit, the aesthetic is very nice. But like I said, when you get to the end of the city, you'll see V come up again. You want to run over to that V. Um, if you guys didn't know, V is pretty much just knife. So it's like the knife emote. But run over here and everything starts to go white. So the city fades into the distance and everything is white so you've got to run up until you see the unicorn diagram on the wall and when you see this you're actually going to fall through the floor and you're going to go into a secret room and there you go we have got the one times one times one times one teapot on its own stand so you basically want to run up to this you're going to fall through the floor again and it's going to say complete there you go you get a badge on your account and you have now unlocked the teapot from the ready player 2 event 
And obviously, guys, just check that you've got it. Go over to your Roblox profile, scroll down, and as you can see, I've got it in my hat accessories. We also got a shirt and pants as well. So there you go, guys. That is how you get one times one times one times one's teapot. Pretty cool, really nice name from the famous hacker. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with Roblox events, click the like button, click the subscribe, turn notifications on so you can get cool prizes just like this before your friends do. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.